Well, welcome you lovely people to a very different video for the channel. Uh, probably on the HF Facebook page as well, so hello to all of you. We're down there doing a bit of perch fishing and chub fishing. Something a bit different. I'm completely obsessed with it now as well, which is amazing. I'm having so much fun catching loads of perch, loads of chub and things like that. I really enjoying myself, especially during the winter. So we're heading down there. We've got three hours to do as well as we can. Two rods with me, rigged up, ready to go. All the baggage. I've got the big camera with me as well in case we catch something nice. Lad is with me. There's the lad. So without further ado, we're going to switch this over to the chest. We'll talk about rigs and stuff as we go, and hopefully we'll bag a couple of fish for you. That is the plan. Let's go. Well, here we are on the old river. Little ro local, little river to me. Two setups. This is a light one. Just a drop shotting rod, which would agitate a drop shot. This is the six foot three, two to fourteen gram, nice and light. Dead light braid on there, six pound braid, and then uh, fluorocarbon lead, which is 0 0.20, which is actually about ten pound. It's the garbolino stuff, which is dead nice. Quick clip to a little jig head and a little creature bait on there as well. These are key tech bits. Cool little bits, caught loads of fish on these past couple of weeks. So, and a dog. Hi dog. So, first cast. They always stop off at this bit first. Um, I've only ever had two little tapes from this spot. Never actually caught anything. And this little jig head. I'm literally just twitching away. Nothing too strenuous. This river's absolutely full of crayfish. Um, there's loads of them. So I've been using creature baits on here, which to me was a bit of an obvious decision. Um, and I've been having quite a lot of luck actually. Last session we had three two pound perch. Uh, one perch that was slightly smaller than that. And then we also had a couple of chub up to three pound as well. So, doing quite well so far but really enjoying it obviously this is a carp fishing channel mostly but this winter you're going to see a few different things as time is precious as I now have newborn twins so time is precious for me and the lad to get out on the bank together there he is exploring there he is we like the river lots of exploring lots of fun and then when he's up for it he has a cast as well which is one of the reasons i always bring two rods but the main reason is changing styles so on this rod i've got a little casting jig that you've seen a little key tech one um with an impact hog on it a key tech impact hog it's a weedless jig as well so you can get it through most scrub just a few really quick casts here nothing too special just checking the area duck just putting a feeler out for the area water has called up a little bit and the water level's risen that's what i'm looking for now dude there's a trolley down there somewhere it was really clear last weekend but we've had a bit of rain so it's cold up a little bit what we want.
There we go. We're in. We're in. Ooh. Let's get the net sorted. Trying to get the net sorted. Trying to get this silly net sorted. There we go. Net is sorted. Concentrate on fish. There we go. Hang on. Lovely chubbly. There we go. Small boy, I I'll do. Right. Let's get him out and have a look at him, shall we, mate? Yeah. Well, here we go then. Didn't take too long at all. Get the grass off it first fish up. Lovely little chub. Not the same one I saw you with the others. <laughs> Could be the same fish, couldn't it, eh? Is that a chub? Yeah, it's a little chub, yeah. Little. Yeah. Little fish. Right, should we get it back? Yeah. Try and catch another one. Well, there we are then, one fish down. Just started to rain a bit. A million ducks have turned up. Always catch chub from this spot. That duck took that line, I didn't like that. Hmm. Last one. That was good, that worked. No, let's move on to the next spot. Spot number two. Only a short walk down. We're in. We're in. Right. It's a perch. Landing that, Lucas. It's a perch. Okay. It's not a monster perch. But it's a perch. That was quick. Nice. Very nice. We'll probably just get this one out and put it straight back in because I know there's bigger perch here. Start the perch. Loved. That jig head. Whoop. Look at that. Love them. Absolutely love them. Come on. There you go. Lovely perch. In for the release. Thank you. There we go. First perch. Probably, I don't know, just over a pound maybe. If you follow anything I have to do with work on the HF page, you'll know there's a challenge going on at the minute. Out of three, it was himself, Chris, and then Jack. Jack might actually come down and join us today. It's the first person to catch a three pound perch and 
a 15 pound pike this winter. Now, provisionally the competition is running. Oops, that was a terrible cast. Competition is running until end of January, but it might be sooner than that. We might try and make it a bit of a speedy's key job. Hence, although, that's the cast, although absolutely loving pound, pound and a half perch, it's about a bigger fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. Hey, up now. That's a nicer fish. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, it's a perch. Where the heck's it going? Oh. Holy Lord, Lucas, that is a monster perch. Holy Lord. That there is a monster perch. GoPro doesn't do any justice at all, but my hand is next to it right now. Yes, let's get it on the mat. Let's get the big camera out, get it weighed. It's two and a half pound, that is, all day long. Mm. Right, let's get this weighed. Yeah. Oh, that's a big perch, Dad. It could come out in the net somewhere. There you go. I've zeroed the revolutionary new fish weighing scales. Two point two one pounds. So two pounds, two ounces. Just over. Two pounds. Ooh. And you're happy. I am very happy. Let's hold it up for the camera. There we go. There you go, look at that. There we go. Just over two pound. Lovely, lovely perch. That's actually a really nice perch. Really nice perch. Let's get some pictures. We'll get it back. Say goodbye, everyone. Wicked. Let's get some more. Are we there? Are we there? Just came up with an SD card error, which is great. <sighs> so, yeah, keep that crazy flapper. My Texas rig. which is just my favourite way to fish, 100%. Better than jigging, better than a lot of them. I love the Texas rig. Quite a bright bit I'm using at the minute, as the water is a bit coloured. But, see what happens. And there's the phone. Check a boy. We had one at two and a quarter. Hi Jack, Jack's behind me. Bye Jack. Just had one at two and a quarter. And um, two pound chub from there. Uh, Say hello, Jack. Hi, guys. That's Jack. 
you know Jack if you are on my channel obviously you are and that oh my god and that amazing little uh, river video that was Jack So, last spot before we turn around and go back the other way again. But it is silty and super snaggy. And the water's up a bit as well. Big difference from last time I fished at this spot. Water's coming out of the flow. Either whatever you want to call it, overflow, weir, mini weir. As I said before, last weekend, it was like a mill pond in here, there was no water flowing into it at all. I think it's time to move back to the original spot near the car. The last 15 minutes there before we have to go. Is that a bump? No way! Oh, viewers at home, you weren't expecting to get this today, were you? And Jack. This is some epic. I foul hooked a gudgeon. No. Back it back out. <laughs> Is Barry the Gudgeon? <laughs> trekking, trekking into the last spot, which was also the first spot. It's five to four. I need to be in the car by ten past. Still a chance. Still a chance. Well, the end has come. Didn't end on any more fish. Lost the jig head. So he's number fiver. Hey, who cares? Nice cheap jig heads. Um, yeah, uh, last fish we had was a foul hook gudgeon. Different one there. Um, it's time for home. It's now ten past four. Time to get back. It's the house. It's the twins. Nothing else is going on. It's cool. Super cool. Wow, it's proper dark. Proper dark. You won't be able to see me at all now. Nothing at all. Wait till we get up the top here. There we go. So, thank you for watching. If you watch this on the uh, YouTube channel, thank you for tuning in. Give us a subscribe. If you watch this on the HF Angling Facebook page, hi, how are you? And I will see you next time. Loads more of these videos coming, lots more content coming. Need a £3 purse and a £15 bike to win the competition. Uh, we're letting the general public decide what the forfeit is for the losers, so head over to the HF Angling page and give your suggestions there. But that's it from me, £2 perch, pounds in a bit perch, and a £2 chub, and a good chin. Not bad, that's me signing out. See you on the bank next time. <laughs>